All right. So, you know how we do these deep dives, right? Always up for something new, something unexpected. <laughs> but you got to hand it to our listeners. They, they really know how to send us down a rabbit hole. This time, ancient astronauts. Sure, we've tackled that before. But this one, well, let's just say it involves a certain spice. Paprika, to be exact. Yeah, definitely not your typical ancient astronaut theory. We're talking about a YouTube comedy sketch from Poland. Cabaret Zamaskowani, or Mast Cabaret, if you want to try the Polish pronunciation. And trust me, after watching it, masked is a good word for it because trying to figure out what they were going for was a trip. But just to back up a bit, the whole thing starts with a seemingly normal couple, you know, just having dinner, and then boom, out of nowhere, this argument erupts <laughs> about paprika. It's brilliant, really. The wife, she's all about that green paprika, right? More modern, maybe a little healthier. And the husband, he's sticking to his guns, traditional red paprika all the way. Next thing you know, they're going back and forth, blaming ancient aliens for this culinary divide. See, that's the thing about comedy. Yeah. Sometimes it sneaks up on you. You're laughing, but then you're left wondering, wait, were they actually onto something? I, like maybe we're too quick to dismiss things just because they sound strange, you know? Exactly. Yeah. But for the sake of this deep dive, let's play along. Let's say, hypothetically, these comedic geniuses are right. What's the theory then? Aliens, spaceships, all that jazz they land on Earth thousands of years ago, and they're like, you know what humans need? Paprika. And not just any paprika, but different colors of it to stir up some good old-fashioned conflict. It's like they're saying, forget giant pyramids and laser beams. It was all about spices for these ancient astronauts. But in all seriousness, this ridiculous premise does touch upon a common thread in a lot of these theories. The idea that humans, on our own, we couldn't possibly have come up with things like agriculture or art or even, well, different colored spices. So it always has to be aliens, right? They come down, whisper some cosmic knowledge, and boom, humanity's got paprika. It's almost like these theories make our ancestors seem incapable of innovation and creativity. In a way, yeah. It's like saying humans are just passive recipients of some grand cosmic plan. And that our taste buds are just pawns in an intergalactic game of dot spice wars. <laughs> okay, I might be getting carried away now. But hey, if you're going to go down the rabbit hole, you might as well enjoy the ride. Yeah, right? absolutely. And I think that's part of what makes this sketch so effective. It's absurd. It's funny. But it gets you thinking, are we really so different from those arguing over paprika, clinging to our beliefs, even if they seem a little out there. Right. It's like they're holding up a mirror to our own tendency to believe in things that might not necessarily be true. Or maybe we just really, really love paprika. Who knows? It makes you wonder, though, doesn't it? What is it about these outlandish ideas that captures our imaginations? Maybe it's the storytelling aspect of it all. We love a good narrative, even if it's about aliens and paprika. It's true. Humans are hardwired for stories. And what's more shareable than a funny, slightly absurd story about aliens messing with our dinner plates? It's definitely more interesting than reading a research paper about the origins of paprika, that's for sure. But speaking of interesting, can we talk about that ending? I mean, they leave us hanging. Oh, absolutely. Uh -huh. Just as the argument reaches its peak, they cut to black, leaving that question hanging in the air. Did aliens give us paprika? The ultimate cliffhanger. It's almost like they're daring us to go out and find the answer ourselves. It's like they're planting a seed of doubt. Even if you laugh it off, that question lingers in the back of your mind. So the next time you're at the grocery store, staring down the spice aisle, you might just find yourself giving that paprika a second glance. And hey, if anyone asks why you're suddenly so interested in paprika, just tell them you're conducting a little deep dive of your own. Who knows? Maybe you'll uncover the truth about those ancient astronauts and their spicy agenda. And that, my friends, is the power of a good story, no matter how strange or outlandish it might seem. It makes us question, it makes us think, and sometimes it even makes us crave a little paprika.